We continue now at the top of Daf Pedalad Amad Aleph and Maseches Gitten. This is Gitten Daf 84a. And the previous Amad Rava asked if the husband says to his wife, Hayom Iat Ishti, that today you're not my wife, the, div- the divorce is going to be effective today, but Lamachar, but tomorrow you're going to be my wife again. What happens in that situation? And Rava asked that question from Rav Nachman. Now he answers it on his own. After he asked the question, he answered, Mistabra makes sense to say, Bain le Rabbi Eliezer, Bain le Rabbanon, whether you're following Rabbi Eliezer or the Rabbanon, it doesn't make any difference. Kevin de Pasca Pasca, once the marriage stops, it stops, meaning to say she's completely divorced. We say she's divorced that day, and she's divorced going forward as well. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. Tanu Rabbanon, the rabbis taught, Hareze gite chamanasha tinosi leploni. If the husband says to his wife, this is your get on the condition that you marry so-and-so, ha-rezu lo tinase, so she shouldn't marry, v'im nisis lo and if she does marry, she should not leave the marriage, she shouldn't be divorced. And the Gemara says, my kamra, what exactly is this Brisa saying? Amr of Nachman, Rav Nachman says, hachi kamra, this is how you understand the Brisa. Ha-rezu lo tinase lo, first of all, she shouldn't marry him, meaning to say, when the husband says to the wife, this is your get on the condition, you marry Ploni, she should not marry Ploni. Shavi yomr nishayin nosnan v'matana, because Maybe people will say that husbands are giving away their wives as gifts. Vim nisis la'acher. And furthermore, the bride is saying if she marries someone else, not Ploni, lo say say she shouldn't leave that marriage. But the Gemara says that doesn't make sense. Umishom gezeira lo mafkinan mine. Just because of a gezeira that we're concerned, people will say that the wives are being given away as matanas, therefore she shouldn't leave the second marriage. Visharinon eishas ish la'alma. We're allowing an eishas ish to marry other people, meaning over here the condition has not been fulfilled. There was no divorce. The divorce was that I'm divorcing you on condition that you marry so and so. She has not married so and so. And so therefore, why is she allowed to stay married to the other individual? El Amr of Nachman, rather, of Nachman says, Hachi Kamar. This is how we understand the Brisa. This is attempt number two to understand the Brisa. Harezu Loti Nase Lo, she shouldn't marry him. She should not marry Ploni. Again, Shemi Yomrin Hisheim Nosnan Vimatana. Maybe people will say that husbands are giving their wives away as a gift. Vim Nisis Lo, and if she does marry him, Lo Say Say, so she shouldn't leave him. To be some Gezerah Lo Mafkin, and just because of a Gezerah, we're not going to have her leave that individual. And so the Gemara says, Amar le Rava, Rava said to Rav Nachman, Lo hu lo tinase. So you're saying that she shouldn't marry him. Halachar tinase, that's implying she should marry someone else. Vaboy ki yume le tenai. But again, there needs to be a fulfillment of the tenai. How is she able to marry someone else? Vechitem, and if you're going to say, after the mincev hayom, it's possible she'll marry some other person today. Umigrisha lamachar, and then she'll be divorced later on. She'll be divorced tomorrow. Umekaim le tenai, and sometime in the future she'll fulfill the tenai by marrying Ploni. And you're trying to compare to the case which you yourself, this is Rav talking to Rav Nachman, you Rav Nachman argued with Rav Yehuda, because we learned the following between Rav Yehuda and Rav Nachman. Let's say a person says, A person takes a cone in my eyes that I'm not going to sleep today if I sleep tomorrow. Meaning the individual is saying, if I sleep tomorrow, then I won't sleep today. So the problem is he doesn't know the future. So what should he do? Amr of Yehuda, Rav Yehuda says, Al Yishan Hayom, he should not sleep today. Shema Yishan Lamachar, because maybe he will sleep tomorrow. He doesn't know that he's not going to sleep tomorrow. For Rav Nachman, Amr Rav Nachman says, no, Yishan Hayom, he can sleep today. Vein Choshen Shema Yishan Lamachar. We don't have to be concerned that he might sleep tomorrow. Meaning, Rav is saying to Rav Nachman, maybe you think it's the same thing. Just like over there, you're not concerned that the person is going to sleep tomorrow. So too, you're not concerned about the future. You figure that in the future she'll fulfill the condition. But Rav says to Rav Nachman, it's not a comparison. Hachi Hashto, what kind of comparison is that? Hasam Bididei Kaima over there, it's something that's in his control. He can control whether he sleeps tomorrow or not. Diboy Mavers Nafshe Besilusa, if he wants to, he can use pins, he can use needles, he can use things to poke himself, to keep himself up. He can use thorns, says Rashi. Velo Noim, and so in that way, he won't fall asleep. But Hacha, but over here, Bidida Kaima Legrushe, is it in her control to divorce? In other words, if she marries some other individual, she has to be divorced from that individual in order to later fulfill the condition and marry Ploni. But it's not that's not under her control, like it's a, like a person's able to control staying awake. And so therefore, Ella Amar Rava, rather Rava says as follows: Harezu lo tinase lo lo velo laacher. She should marry nobody. She should marry him, meaning Ploni, and she shouldn't marry anyone else. Lo lo tinase shema yomu neshoseim nosim She shouldn't marry him 
Because again, people will say that husbands are giving their wives away as a gift. And la'achar lo tinasi, she shouldn't marry anyone else either. The boy ki yumi litanai, because she does need to fulfill the tonight, which she's not fulfilling. Vim nisis lo, but it means to say as follows, if she does marry him, lo teitze, then she shouldn't be divorced. De mishum gezeira lo mafkinon, because of a gezer, we're not going to make her leave this individual. And la'achar teitze, but if she marries someone else, she should leave him, she should be divorced. The boy le ki yumi litanai, because she needs to fulfill the tonight, but the Tanai has not been fulfilled. And the Gemara says, Tanya Kivase the Rav, we have a Brisa that supports Rav's explanation. Harezu lo tinase lo lo, velo laacher, she shouldn't marry him or anyone else. Vim nisis lo lo teitze, if she marries him, she doesn't have to leave the marriage. Laacher, but if she marries someone else, teitze, then, then she does need to leave the marriage. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. Tanu Rabbon and the rabbis taught. Harezu gitech al menas shatali lorki, if the husband says to his wife, this is your get, and the condition that you ascend to the heavens, Amanash Terdi Latahomer on the condition that you descend to the depths, Amanash Tivli Kona Shel Dalit Amos on condition that you swallow a reed of four Amos, Amanash Tivili Kona Ben Kufam on the condition that you bring me a reed of a hundred Amos, Amanash Tavrias Ayam Hagadol Braglayach on the condition that you cross the Yam Hagadol with your feet. All of these conditions are obviously impossible to fulfill. A no get, so in such a situation, it's not going to be a get because the condition will never be fulfilled. Rabbi Yehuda ben Tema Omer, Rabbi Yehuda ben Tema says, Kaze get. This actually would be a kosher get. Klal Omer, Rabbi Yehuda ben Tema, the rule that Rabbi Yehuda ben Tema says is as follows. Kol tenai shi efshelo lekaimo besofo, any condition that's impossible to fulfill at the end. Vehisna olav mitzchiloso, and he makes that condition from the beginning. A no elakim afliga bedivarim, he's simply exaggerating, he's, he's simply doing it in order to cause her pain, but the Tanai, the condition is not serious. We ignore the Tanai and we say that it's a good get, Vikasha, and it's a good get. Amr of Nachman, Amr Rav, Rav Nachman said that Rav said, Halacha Rav Yehuda ben Tema. The Halacha is like Rav Yehuda ben Tema. Again, if you have a condition that's impossible to fulfill, the get is going to be kosher. Amr of Nachman bar Yitzchak, Rav Nachman bar Yitzchak says, Masnisa nami deka. We also can infer like Rav Yehuda ben Tema from the Mishnah. To Katani, because it says in the Mishnah, Kol she'efshelo lekaimo besofo, anything that it's possible to fulfill. Vehisna ala bitchilas, and you make such a tanai to no kaim. That kind of tanai is considered to be a good tanai, and so we can infer from the Mishnah if you have a condition that's impossible to fulfill, to know bottle, apparently the tenai, the condition is bottle, and so that's the same thing over here, the condition is bottle and the get is kosher, and the Gemara says, Shema no, indeed, you see from here that this is the case. And the Gemara continues, who they had the following question. What if he says to her, this is your get on the condition that you eat the meat from a pig? So that's something that it's possible to fulfill that condition, but it would be a violation of the halacha. So what would be the halacha? Amar Abaye, Abaye says, he, he, that is exactly the same. That is attaching a condition that's impossible to fulfill. And therefore, according to Rabbi Yehuda ben Taima, that would be a good get. Rava Amar Rava says, Efshar da That's not the same thing. It's possible she can eat the Besar Chazir and she'll get Malkus for it. In other words, it's something, it's a condition that could be fulfilled. There's just a punishment. And the Gemara explains, Li Abaye, according to Abaye's approach, so by Rabbi Yehuda ben Tema, they use the word klal. They said a general rule, and usually that's an inclusion. La suye besar chazir, that comes to include this very case. That's also the besar chazir case, the meat of the pig case. That's also considered a condition that's impossible to fulfill, and that's included in the word klal. But Rava, but according to Rava, kazeh, the word that was used by Rabbi Yehuda ben Tema was kazeh get. Like this is considered a get, that's an exclusion. Lema'ute besar chazir, that comes to exclude this case of besar chazir, because besar chazir, according to Rava, is something is a condition that could be fulfilled. And the Gemara continues, Meisve, we have a question from the following Brisa. This is from the Tosefta. If the husband says to his wife, Hareza gitech amenasha tibali leploni, this is your get on the condition that you have relations with so-and-so, niskayim hatanai hareza get vim lave no get. If the condition is fulfilled, then it is a get. If the condition is not fulfilled, then it is not a get. Meaning to say that is a valid condition to place on the divorce. Almenas shaloti bali la'ava uli avich. If he says this is your get on the condition that you don't have relations with my father or, the, or with your father, ain choshish in shaman nevala we have no concern that maybe she had relations with them and so therefore again the condition is considered to be fulfilled and the get is going to be kosher and so the Gemara infers whereas a case where the husband says to his wife on condition that you do have relations with my father or your father that case is not in this b'risa why is that case not in the b'risa apparently that's considered to be a condition that's impossible to fulfill and so therefore that would support Abaya, like the case of 
where he makes a condition that you have to eat the meat of a chazir, that also is considered to be a condition that is impossible to fulfill. That's not a valid condition. According to Abaya, this is good. According to Rava, this is difficult. Why would this be considered impossible to fulfill? And the Gemara says, Amar lach Rava, Rava will respond to you, Bishlama b'sar, b'sar chazir. I understand by a case of the meat of a pig, after da'achla v'loki, it's possible to fulfill that condition, she can eat it, and she could get malchus. Ploni nami, after de meshach de bebe mamona. When it comes to ploni as well, that's talking about the condition where he says that the condition that you have to have relations with so-and-so, she can bribe him with money, it's possible that she'll fulfill that condition. Ela abav yovicha, but when it comes to a condition that you have to have relations with my father or your father, bedi is that something that she really is able to fulfill? Granted that she might be willing to do an Isser, but will the father, my father, your father, will they be willing to commit Isura? Will they be willing to commit an Isser? And so therefore that is considered impossible to fulfill. And the Gemara continues, Lerav, according to Rav, the rule, meaning the rule that's including other cases that are impossible, that includes cases like having relations with my father or your father, that's impossible. And Kazel, Lemaute, Besar Chazir, but the word Kazel is to exclude Besar Chazir, because again, according to Rav, Besar Chazir is considered something that is possible to fulfill, and we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Pei Dalid Amid Beis.